Hi guys, so today I want to show you one of the recipes I make at home. It's not strictly Gandhian, but I am sort of running out of the Gandhian recipes. As I want the channel to carry on, I just thought I would start showing you just um, recipes that I think are interesting enough to video. And today it's um, uh, prawns and uh, meatballs sauce, a red sauce that I make. So this is turkey mint. And uh, this is uh, raw king prawns. I got this off wing yip, and it's about 13 pounds or so. I did get this for 8.99. They had a discount on there. So um, this is garlic on the side, and that's onions. They've already been blended. Uh, this is quite a lot. That's because I'm making quite a lot. And um, I did already start doing um, the preparation. Then I thought, okay, let me today start showing you the other recipes. So I also need oil, of course, and plum tomatoes, lemon juice, um, black pepper, salt, mustard, tomato puree, and this is bay leaves. I wanted to quickly share with you um, a new find, which is um, a store called Tiger. They basically sell home things and stationery and stuff. But if you go around towards the um, till point, they have these snacks that they sell, crisps and stuff. And they also sell these seasoning things. Now, I was so excited when I saw this parsley packet. Um, it was filled to the top, and it was about one pound, to be fair. You can see that I've stored it in here, and it was too full, so the rest is there, and I've even used some of it already. What I also got from Tiger was um, the Himalayan salt, which is the pink one. That also um, was all the way there, and I've put some in here. And I think that was about a pound as well. And it's really good because uh, parsley in the supermarket, uh, it's not really cheap, is it? You can get about that much, to be fair, for about 80p or so. Okay, and what I'll do with this video, I'm going to do less of a talking uh, and more of annotation. Um, so I just get to show you, and because my videos are always really long, I guess it will be even self-explanatory, even without the annotations, but I'll put that there just for... Um, the sake of it. Now with the turkey mince, it will be in meatballs and this I will just fry it as usual. So the first thing you'll now see is just me starting to do the meatballs and then I carry on. I forgot to show you the vegetables so these are the mixed ones and also a piece of bread and that's just some wheat flakes on the bread that's the hovis. Um, I don't put egg in my meatballs, but you can go ahead and do that, and um, that's really the norm for so many people. And this is uh, mint, and that's the concentrate rather than the mint sauce. So if you ever want to buy mint, um, go for the concentrate, which is just the mint, whereas the sauce has the vinegar and syrup and all of that. So with the bread, I just want to soak it. And then I will squeeze out all of the water once it's thoroughly soaked. Now there are a few ways you can roll uh, the meatballs. Sometimes when you blend it or when you over blend it, it can tend to be really sticky and you feel that you can't work it in your hands. People would usually put oil in a bowl and just uh, uh, rub it on their hands. My mom, that's the way she does it. Another thing you can do is this right here, you can place it in the fridge. Or another thing is two spoons and you make sure you just have enough oil to all the time cover. Now, unfortunately, I can't sort of show you. You're just going to have to sort of understand what I'm talking about. And coat the spoons very well, and you, with one spoon you pick, and with the other you sort of mold, almost like a, if you're doing ice cream or chocolate, you know, like in cake making. I don't know quite how to say it. But that's what I'm going to do now. I don't have time to put this in the fridge, and I really don't like to do my hands sometimes.
So the prawns, they already come cleaned and all I do is I take a knife, a sharp knife and make a um, slit at the back. That just makes it look pretty when you fry it. Now, I won't be kneading this until towards the end, and I don't want it to dry out, so I will take a cling film and I will cover it and leave it in the microwave. If I just leave it open like that, it will it, all of the sort of juices will begin to evaporate, and it will become really dry, and that's when it gets really chewy. Now, um, because there was a lot of moisture here, and I don't want to fry the prawn too long, again, it makes it soft. Um, that's why it's having this noise. So once this noise dies out, then you know that it's just pure oil there. Right now it has a, um, some liquid. Once um, it stops that noise, then that's the oil, and then we go in with the meatball. Now there's some burnt um, bits at the end. Don't worry about that. That's just the seasoning from the shrimp prawn. So. Now I'll put in the meatballs, and again, this is very, very high heat. I just want to flash fry, which is, um, you just want to coat it, so basically you seal the outer area, the inner area will cook later on. It virtually cooks itself so quickly because this is turkey mint especially. So the noises pop, as I've said, so now it's really hot. Okay, so the bottom is burnt, burnt, burnt. As I said before, do, don't worry about that. That will just add to the flavor. And now I put in the onion. I've only left a little bit of onion out. I'm going to use that to cook something else. So also with the meatballs, you just want to cover this. And keep it in and the microwave. And you see that burns bit. So as soon as the onions go, it just sort of um, loosens up at the bottom and it comes out straight away. You just um, just scrape it out, incorporate it with the onions. So I have a big lump there, and then let it start frying. Um, it was all the time on high heat, but once it starts to um, cake up at the bottom again, you must now turn it down because um, that uh, burnt won't be as the same as the other when I was talking about the shrimps and the meatballs. So at that point, now I've turned it down to medium high. Now something I wanted to talk about quickly was um, spices that you could add right about now. Um, I didn't show this initially, that's because I don't always do it and I don't, I'm not going to be putting all these spices in. This is the point that I just think to myself, what do I want it to taste like today? Now, with spices, you would just have to figure out what spices you like. For instance, I cannot stand fresh coriander, but I like the dried one and I do use it to spice up my cooking as well. Um, I, I've run out of that today. Now, you could have put whole nutmeg, whole, not whole nutmeg, you can scrape some nutmeg and put it in there. It will taste really nice. 
or cumin. Today I'm going for cumin. I have some Lebanese in me, so this is quite um, familiar to me. And um, paprika, the smoked paprika, to be fair, is m much tastier than this one. I just got this because I couldn't find the smoked one the other day. And I always put turmeric now in my sauces, but that's just for health reasons. I am not going to put a lot because I don't want it to change the color, although it does. Though. Whatever you do, it does sort of change it a lot, a bit, but I'm just going to put a little bit. And yes, I have a lot of turmeric in my cupboard. Most of the time now when we cook rice, we add turmeric there, so we tend to eat a lot of pilau rice, well, without the other um, things that they put in there. Now, some people like um, these curry seasonings. I am not a curry person. It's come from when I was very young, and yeah, it, my whole immediate family at one point just couldn't eat curry. It's a rude story, so I'm not going to say it, but yeah, just go with whatever it is that you feel like at that point. And um, as I've said, today I'm going to put cumin, but just a little bit really. I don't, it's very overpowering, but I like the smell and I like to taste it in there sometimes. And I'll put some turmeric, that's it. I added in my one um, oxo cube. I'm trying to cut down on salt, especially when the children are concerned, because to be fair, I have been eating a lot of salt. I wanted to say something, I've forgotten. Um, I've forgotten, sorry. Now, this is really insignificant, but I'll show you anyway. I took this out when the shrimps were frying. After I took the shrimps out, this was there. I will not throw it away. I'm just going to pop it back in the pot. And um, I'm going in with the tomatoes. I was so lucky to read this because I usually get the chops. I would have just poured it all. To be fair, that's actually what I'm going to do, and I'm just going to use my spoon to break it up. And yeah, we're nearly there, so I'll put the tomatoes in now and let that fry before I add the tomato puree. I'm just going to put the tomato puree in. To be fair, I think I'm just going to use my other one, which is just the half. And um, when that's fried as well, I'm going to pop some water in these pans. And all in all, I'm just going to use half of this can of water. And so the tomato puree has also fried. And I did open the second tube and I used it this much. I'll say I probably used 100 to 110 grams and um, the tomato, the can, so I've rinsed out the other one and poured it in here, so in total I must have about half. And it's really important to put water here and let it boil and then fry again because that's when the onion actually gets cooked. And actually I'm going to uh, add more water, I'll put another half a can in here. And you can blast up the heat just a little bit because it is getting on a bit now. And yeah, but just keep an eye on it. I've added um, more water and I'm going to add the vegetables as well now. The vegetables will emit some more moisture as well because they are frozen. So. So now, just before all the water dries out, you just want to pop in the meatballs. And I'm going to put the meatballs, and I'll give it about 5-8 minutes, then I put in the prawns. So now we can go in with the prawns. I don't think anybody likes to eat over cooked. Form, so 
for them in love. And of course, um, that all come from the covering it and just more flavor. So just let it um, be absorbed again and dry out. At this point, I'm going to turn the heat high because I want that to happen quickly rather than let the prawn sit there and cook for a long time. So, yeah, I'm just going to turn it up high. Hopefully, we'll be done in four or five minutes. Right, so this is all done now, and I am turning it off, and I'll just let it here, let it <laughs> sit here and um, cool off, and what you'll have at the end of it is just the oil will be right at the top, it will cover it all, and that's done, so I'll show you how it is when um, it's been dished out. This is, it's three o'clock now. I've been cooking this for like a late lunch, about five, six o'clock, so hopefully the presentation will look just as good because I won't be heating it again, at least not in the pot, probably in the microwave. Right, so there you have it. I hope you try this out and let me know what it is that you did go for in terms of um, seasonings or spicing it up or even what other meat that you use. And another thing you could do is Sometimes when I only have turkey mince, and um, sorry, when I don't have the big tiger prawn, I will buy the normal, uh, those tiny prawns that you can get. They come very cheap. I think they're about two, three pounds, and they're so minute, really, really tiny, and they're already cooked. Now, I don't cook with that. I will only buy that to make prawn sandwich for my daughter because it's her favorite food ever. So if I have only turkey mints, I will buy those cheap ones and I will blend it. So when I'm making the meatballs, I put that cheap prawn in the blender and I will blend it to mush and then add the turkey mint. Okay, so we're finally done and this is it. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye. So it just gives